Oh, good. Now we're going. Um, this is um, a monologue or a section from the book Madness, A Bipolar Life, written by Maria Hornbacher. I am numb. I am in the apartment in the bathroom of my apartment of Minneapolis, 20 years old, drunk, and out of my mind. I am cutting patterns in my arm. A leaf, a snake. There's one dangling light, a bare bulb with a filthy string that twitches in the breeze coming from the open window. I look out at the alley and the brick buildings next door, all covered with soot. Across the way, a woman sits on her sagging, flowered couch in her slip and slippers, watching TV and laughing to the laugh track. <laughs> and I stop. To sop up the blood with a rag. The blood is making a mess on the floor. Note to self, mop floor. While a raccoon clings on the lid of the dumpster below. Time hiccups. It is either sooner or later, I can't tell which. I study my handiwork. Blood runs down my arm, wrapping around my wrists and off my fingertips onto the dirty white tile floor. I have been cutting for months. It stills the racing thoughts, relieves the madness that has been crushing my mind. Vice-like. For nearly my entire life, but more so in recent days. The past few years have seen me in ever-increasing flights and falls of mood. My mind at first lit with flashes of color, currents of electric insight, sudden elation, then flooded with black and bloody thoughts that throw me face down onto my living room floor. A swelling despair pressing outward from the center of my chest, threatening to shatter my ribs. I have ridden these moods since I was a child. The clatter of the roller coaster roaring in my ears while I hung on to the sides of my little car. And now, at the edge of adulthood, the madness has entered me for real. The one thing I have feared and railed against all my life, the total loss of control over my mind, has set in. And now, there's nothing I can do to fight it anymore. I split my artery. Scene.